Last week, Greg and I headed off to the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and this vlog will tell you all about what we got up to. There will also be a second video coming up with some hands-on video of some of the products that impressed us the most. We both arrived in Barcelona on the Sunday and set off early Monday morning to get to the Congress. MWC itself was huge, with 1,800 exhibitors over nine halls, showing off everything from smartphones and tablets to wearable tech, routers, Bluetooth dice and even sports cameras. We spent Monday getting a feel for the Congress. In particular, we managed to get our hands on the newly announced Nokia X range, which run Nokia's customised Android. These felt pretty nice to use and had a variety of bright colours. We also got our hands on the Sony Xperia Z2, which whilst being slightly thinner than the Z1 and having a bigger screen, looked and felt very similar. Sony also had their fitness bands and smartwatches on show. One of the things that did impress us was the Asus Padphone Mini, which is essentially a smartphone that can dock into a tablet device. This combination approach seemed to work really well and I was surprised at just how good it felt to use. We also had a chance to check out some of the lesser known brands, and in particular saw Android smartphones from Lenovo, Yes, Oppo Mobile, Geome, and Yumiox. Whilst many of these behave like typical Android phones, I felt like the offerings from Geome and Oppo had huge potential if and when they become available in the UK. Some of the guys on the GifGaf community also asked us to check out Firefox OS and their phones. Whilst we didn't get our hands on the $25 phone, we did have a go on some of their own phones and some made by well-known manufacturers. Firefox OS felt pretty nice to use, the touchscreens worked well and the whole operating system was very intuitive. On top of that, Firefox have a load of the most popular apps ready to be downloaded from their marketplace. Certainly a company to be looking out for. We also checked out some other smartwatches as well as the Sony one I've already mentioned. The Galaxy Gear was nice, although the operating system was a little bit difficult to pick up. But the one we really liked was the Qualcomm TOC, which boasted a battery life of up to 10 days, had a very intuitive operating system, and only required a backlight in the dark due to technology that powered the screen from sunlight. It also had the bonus of being able to work on all Android devices. There was also a smartwatch from Yumiox, which took a SIM card and was essentially an Android smartphone on your wrist. However, a full QWERTY touchscreen keyboard on a watch simply doesn't work. Finally, there was a load of accessories on show, including a lot of cases, a screen protector that allowed you to use your phone as a chopping board, and some really funky looking Bluetooth speakers. On Monday night, we got to attend the Samsung Unpacked 5 event and saw Samsung launch the new Galaxy S5, which boasts a faster processor, the ability to be dust and water resistant, a more efficient camera, a menu logo redesign with flatter round icons and a choice of four colours. Samsung also announced the Gear 2 and the Gear Fit, both of which had really nice designs. Just being at a launch event and seeing the sheer size of it was incredible and well worth being a part of. On the Tuesday, which was our last day in Barcelona, we headed back to the Congress to try some more tech, especially to see if Samsung had some of their new products to play with. Sadly, they didn't have any S5s for us to have a go on, but they did have the Gear 2 and the Gear Fit. The Gear 2 has a new design which looks good on, and the addition of a home button made the operating system much easier to use. The Gear Fit, however, really sold me to the potential of smartwatches. The curved design looked really nice, and the interface was easy to use and clear to understand. For me, with smartwatches, I think the deciding factor is going to be the price of them. So that was the Mobile World Congress as an overview. It was a great event to be at and I hope you found this video interesting. There will be a video with some hands-on stuff coming soon to this channel and I'll see you guys again soon.